Okay, next. Okay. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? How are you? How is your parent back home? I hope you are okay. My name is Dr. Abdullah Muhammad Abdul. I am to teach you Paul 225, that is Foundation of Political Economy. And the course we are playing with my uh, senior colleague by name, Professor A.S. Mandy about the Deputy VC Academic of the University. Uh, way by introductions, Paul 225, Foundation of Political Economy, is a second semester course within the second year of the BAC Honor degree program in political science. This course all three credits. It aims to provide students with a comprehensive overview of key topics in political economy. The course commences with a concise introductory section which will facilitate a solid grasp of the significant matters involved in the study of political economy. This introductory model will assist the student in gaining a solid comprehension of the important concepts in the field of political economy, including the evolution of political economy, score of political economy, possibility of political economy, and basic concepts of political economy. All these are part of what we are going to do. So let me start by making it this way. Let me give you the course outline in the modules. In module one, we have basic concept of political economy, understanding the ma uh, subject matter of political economy, evolution of poli uh, ev evolutions and concept of political economy, perspective of political economy, basic concepts in political economy. That is module one. In the module two, we are going to examine the mode of production, that is communalism, slave-owned feudal productions, feudalism. Capitalism, socialism. In model three, we are going to look at at political economy of Nigeria, and that is Nigeria as a monocultural economy, Nigerian state and resource management. Then, let me start it by, uh, by from the model one, the basic uh, the basic of political economy. Unit one. On that, we are going to understand the subject matter of political economy. The term political economy is a combination of two words, political and economy. As per Frederick Lack and Burns, 2017, they define political economy, they define economy as the system governing the productions, distribution, and utilization of wealth. World politics involve the contestations among actors within divergent interests to make collective decisions, whether within or outside formal government. The term political economy the term political economy carry multiple interpretations. May 2020 define political economy as the science that deal with laws, regulate the production, distribution, consumption, exchange and reproduction of goods or wealth in the society. However, productions, distributions, exchange and, rep and reproductions are in in intercontinent intercontinented people usually produced by essence and consumption. Political economy therefore aim to explicate the uh, dynamic of the state, market relations, and the causes of asymmetrical relationship between developed or underdeveloped nations in international division of labor and trade. It identified the root causes of trade under development, attributing them to factors like imperialism, colonialism, and neocolonialism, as well as internal contradictions specific to trade world countries. Significantly, both bourgeois and Marxist political economic offer Dixon's approaches to emancipation and development. Ultimately, knowledge of political economy empowers the oppressed and exploited to comprehend their circumstances and seek resolution to their dilemmas. Now, after then, we can understand what is, in the, the, what is the evolution and scope of political economy. In the 17th centuries, there, there was a growing separation between the study of economics and politics. 
with only few exceptions and b brief surges of interest during the economically turbulent period like the Great Depression's economics, developed increasingly interacted model to explain economic mechanism, where political scientists formulated complex theories concerning political development and behavior. The resurgence of political economy over the last five decades can be attributed to two interconnected factors. First, dissatisfactions arose among academics due to a growing gap between abstract models of political economy, economic, economic, in political economic behavior and that actual behavior observed in the realms of politics and economies, theories had become more abstract and seamless grounded in reality. Consequently, many scholars begin questioning the intellectual justification for maintaining a rigid analytical divisions between politics and economy. Second, the stability and prosperity of initial post-World post -World War II era started degenerating in the early 1970s. Economic issues become increasingly politicized and political systems become more preoccupied with economic matters. Even like President Richard Zion, terminations of the gold, uh, the gold dollar started in 1971 and subsequently increased oil price by OPEC in 1973, underscored the preservation of economic affairs. In the real world, politicians closely monitor economic trends and economic actors are attentive to political development. Therefore, those seeking to, to comprehend the political process must consider economic factors and vis-a-vis -vis a more comprehensive understanding of social process emerges from an integrate, integrated comprehensions of both political and economic aspects rather than from studying politics and economics as separate rooms. Well, there are well, there are many different in, 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 in emphasizes international politi political economic behavior that have converged on a common framework for comprehending the interplay between politics and economies. You can understand it from the scope of political economy. Scope of political economy outline the domain of analysis is, border, is border, bordering or limitations the type of situation it encompasses and its real world applic applicability or relevance. Political economy commonly do not interdisciplinary inquiries that draw from economics, sociology, and political science to elucidate how political institutions, their political environment, and the economic system mutually influence one another. Based on this, we can look at the perspective of political economy classical by classical political economy. Classical political economy primarily revolves around the removal of barriers that hinder the expansion of capital within the productive process. The major scholars of this classical political economy are Adam Smith, Ricardo, and others. The core argument of this classical political economy centers on market forces of supply and demand, serving as the principal determinant of the production process. This perspective rejects government intervention in economic activities, advocating instead that, that the state should concentrate on its fundamental role of upholding laws and orders. Classical political economy is often referred to as laissez-faire political economy due to its strong emphasis on free enterprise. According to all the Ot Lee, 2019, attribute the activities of, of classical political economy to liberal system of 19th century, Not, noting that government eliminated trade barrier and made, it, made little effort to manage domestic economic activities. According to Marxist political economy, their own perspective, scholars like uh, scholars align with Marxian perspective, including their lack of Karl Marx, Frederick Engel, and V. I. Lenny. Karl Marx, the foremost advocate of this viewpoint, adopted a radical stance in his 
interpretation of economic process. School of Marxist orientations conceive that classical orientation to political economy as vulgar, Kalmas, as the main proponent of the approach, assume a radical posture in his interpretations of economic process. The Marxist interpretations of history place emphasis on social classes, productive forces, and social relations of productions. He maintained that the political economy is substructure upon which other substructures are over, uh, overall super structures edified of society revolves. The Marxist approach is consistent with socialist worldview, which accommodate intensive state intervention and control of the economy of the nation. It is the expectation of scholars of Marx orientations that state monopoly of productive process will make for a better redistribution income in the society. Well, according to new classical political economy, this perspective rose to prominence through the rating of John Keynesian scholars in this school of thought cast doubt on the feasibility of achieving optimal resources productive productions and allocation within the classical assumptions. They also take issues within the extremities of Marxian scholars in their view. Some limited degree of state intervention in the economic process is necessary to achieve full economic production. Scholars in this school were largely influenced by economic crisis of the pre war period and were determined to avoid the economic turmoil and competitive devaluations that had transpired during the Great Depression. Then I'm going to conclude this segment of this lecture. We can now later around we can look at what maybe in the next lecture we can look at the concept, uh, the uh, basic concept in political economy. But for now, we can uh, we can sit down and understand from the evolutions of political economy down to the other things I have discussed about Marxism, how they are now perceive econ political economy, and what have you. So thank you.